You know, I've always wanted to be a marine biologist. Because let's be real, I wanted to travel. I wanted to study exotic wildlife. And let's not forget the added bonus of spending many of my days in or underwater. It's safe to say my ocean story is unique. However, like many people who aspire to become a marine biologist, I had absolutely no idea where to start or where this career would inevitably take me. Sure, being able to sit and stare into what felt like the edge of the world itself was definitely a goal. However, I would be lying if I said I knew exactly how I would get here. As I think back to where it all started, I'm deeply humbled by the unpredictable, challenging, and life-altering experiences that I've had along the way. Now that I am one, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. My name is Colin, and I'm a scientist who gets excited when talking about the ocean or coral reefs. But I'm also inspired when I meet ambitious and passionate early career scientists. And I find motivation in sharing ocean stories that reveal deep connections with their very own lives. Over the years of study and research in the Caribbean, I am determined not only to learn as much as I can, but to share what I've learned the best way I can. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for uh, checking me out and checking out the very first episode of my social media vlogger style platform, you know, Marine Cypher Life. I'm really excited to get this started. And as we couldn't tell by this beautiful intro, I absolutely love my job. I love being a marine biologist. It is such a rewarding and unforgettable experience. And I've met a lot of people who are also really interested in thinking about what a career in marine science or marine biology might be like for them. And so, you know, over the years, I've really thought about, I've always kind of wanted to do this. <laughs> I've always kind of wanted to put together some videos that tries to highlight a lot of the lessons that I've learned to try to help other people, you know, avoid certain things or think about approaching uh, professional development advice in a unique and distinct way, right? And so I'm really excited to get started in doing this, but, uh, I've really, uh, it's been kind of challenging to really think about the best way to go about it. And although I've done some homework and I've seen a lot of great content and information that's already out there, I'm still trying to develop my own flavor, if you will. I'm still trying to develop my own approach. And so after thinking a lot about how I want to try to go about this, I thought one of the best ways to share my um, experiences and the lessons that I've learned throughout, you know, my career as a marine biologist is to is by telling stories. And so, let's let's go on a little journey real quick. Back when I was in college, uh, I already knew in my head that I wanted to be a marine biologist. <laughs> Right. Like when I was young, I was 14 years old was the first time I got a chance to go scuba diving. And that was a truly inspirational and monumental uh, experience. It had a huge, profound effect on what my aspirations were as a young boy. And so when I was in college, yep, I absolutely knew that uh, marine science was for me. And I went to the one university in the state of Virginia that offered a bachelor's of science in biology with a concentration in marine science and you know once i got into college i was really excited but then it quickly realized that uh, getting a degree in marine for marine science is actually really challenging and hard there's a lot of heavy math and science up front and as a result of all that my grades kind of started to dip and with that dip in grades, I uh, forced myself to go to the office hours and to get more help and get more information about the classes and the, and the topics that I was uh, trying to learn in marine science. But what was really remarkable was not only that I learned a lot more about biology and in marine biology more specifically, but I also learned a lot of really useful professional development tips and suggestions and support that I got directly from active marine biologists, right? So a lot of my professors 
and I was really lucky to have this, were active marine biology professors. And so they taught classes, they had graduate students, they basically ran a lab, they conducted research, and they published papers. And so after I got all of that great professional development advice, I actually applied that information in two ways. One, I applied it in my own life, <laughs> right, to help me become competitive, uh, a competitive applicant after I graduated from college. But I also applied it by sharing it with my friends and colleagues. I was really eager and excited to share what I learned with my friends in hopes that we could all find rewarding and successful careers. And ultimately, that kind of collaboration and that kind of deliberation really formed the Marine Biology Student Association. It was the first of its kind at this university. It was a student-run organization that primarily focused on the field of marine biology. And what was really cool about the MBSA was that it allowed myself and the board, I convinced a bunch of my friends to join me in this crazy uh, endeavor. And uh, through working together, working in a team, working in a group like that, we were really able to accomplish some really remarkable and unforgettable things. And just the involvement of the student organization and being someone who was responsible for coming up with things and, and organizing things, it taught myself and others a lot more valuable lessons that we would not have gone in a classroom. You know, collaboration is a skill. It's something that has to be practiced. It's not something that is just natural for everybody. And so being a part of a student organization taught me how to deliberate, how to share and to give tasks, how to be a leader. And so my number one golden tip uh, in today's video is going to be if you're starting out and college and you're curious and thinking about where you can find opportunities, right? So doing things that where you can learn these lessons, but then also you can establish a solid resume, right? Look at student organizations. I guarantee you that at most of the universities or colleges that have active professors who are conducting research and doing actual marine science or marine biology, there will be some group of students who are organized in some fashion and want to try to help and support other uh, marine biology students. And so that was kind of messy, but that was just a really quick story about my start in college and and how uh, and, and where I've been able to learn a lot of the lessons and facts that I'm going to try to provide on this social media platform. Now, before I wrap things up, I wanted to announce something really special. You may see on Instagram at Marine Cypher Life or here on this YouTube channel that I produce a few smaller videos. And that was me really trying to practice to learn how to develop in interesting and exciting content. And that kind, those kinds of videos, I believe, got the attention of a group of really exciting, innovative, passionate marine scientists, or not just marine scientists, they're actually scientists across the board. And this group is called Sci All. And they have a website that's called SciAll.org. SciAll is truly a one-stop shop for anyone, no matter what you look like, no matter what language you speak. If you're interested in pursuing a career in STEM and want to find content information related to that, SciAll is the place for you. And so I was really shocked when they reached out and asked me to help produce content that focuses on STEM, um, but also uh, marine science and marine biology. And I said yes. And I really cannot wait to join this really diverse and innovative and um, just really exciting group of people uh, to work, get a chance to work with them in producing content that can really provide a holistic perspective from multiple different people on what uh, a career in STEM might be like. So thank you to everyone who was able to stick around and watch this video to the end. And um, feel free to send a like if you like this video and also subscribe. And uh, check me out at Marine Sci for Life on, on Instagram and on YouTube. But also definitely check out SciAll and SciAll.org across all their different platforms. And stay tuned for a lot of the exciting content that I'm really looking forward to helping them create and to share uh, with the community at large.